So by now, you know that your body is transforming, whether you like it or not. You know that taking charge of your health and living by the three foundational health principles, simple math, community, and having ESP, or the expert systematic protocols, is going to change your life. And you also know that we live and die at the cellular level. So being able to make changes at the cellular level is key. By now, you know that our cells are like tiny batteries. And if we have dead or dying cells, it's like having a dead battery. No matter how much fuel we put in, good or bad, if our batteries are dead, then we just need a jump start. And that's what this video is all about. How to give your dying cells a jump start and how to replace those dead cells with new fresh cells. And how doing this is going to eliminate symptoms like weight gain and, and trouble losing weight and fatigue, anxiety, depression, and brain fog. If you don't fix the cell, you don't get well. I'm Dr. Brian Coker, the founder of 316 Health Solutions and the creator of the 316 Jumpstart program. And I've spent the last 17 years in my practice helping people to understand how to live healthier lives and how to get more out of life. People like Sandra, who had been to seven different doctors, all of whom told her that, that she was fine and there was nothing wrong with her because her labs looked perfect. And women like Donna, who had had a family history of, of cardiac problems on top of all the thyroid symptoms. And women like Kat, who I'll tell you about in just a minute, Kat claims to have tried every program known to man, but she was never able to achieve a noticeable success because her cells were damaged and she didn't even know it. These patients are the reason I do what I do. I, I find so much fulfillment in, in helping women take charge of their health and, and getting their life back. My passion to help women suffering from thyroid conditions was amplified when I diagnosed my wife, Joan, with the Hashimoto's while she was pregnant with our youngest son, Elliot. Since then, we've been walking the walk in our own home, which has been so enlightening. So right now, I wanna tell you a little more about Kat. When I first met Kat, she was struggling with fatigue, weight problems, anxiety, and depression. And she, she'd become very accustomed to having two weeks of massive pain before starting her menstrual cycle. Kat was tired all the time and had no energy. It was taking a toll on her, not only physically, but mentally as well. Especially because she was the nanny for three young children, which, as you can imagine, was stressful in and of itself. After I explained some of the root causes to Kat and the three foundational health principles and the concept of jumpstarting her cells, she knew that this was something God had placed in her life for, for a reason, and she was all in. We started out with a, with a bunch of lab tests, including simple tests that she was able to do in her own home to see if she had dead or dying cells. By the way, this is a test that is 50 times more accurate than a blood test, and the results are instantaneous. Kat's results showed us that what, she, what we already suspected, and that was that her cells definitely needed a jump start in a big way. So in order to jumpstart the dying cells and replace the dead ones, we have to be very careful in planning. There are three main causes of cell damage and cellular inflammation. They are blocked detox pathways, damaged cell membranes, and methyl depletion. I know that probably sounds like a bunch of mumbo jumbo, but stick with me for just a minute. Let's talk about blocked detox pathways. You see, when cells are recharging, they're also creating a lot of waste. It's kind of like this. Think of the process of recharging the cell like building a fire to cook a meal. Now, if I were to start a fire like this one inside an enclosed room, I would need some way to get the smoke out to avoid dying and, and taking, all in, taking all the toxins in. So cells work, work the same way. One of the ways is they, they remove toxins by using an antioxidant called glutathione, or GSH. And this carries the toxins out. So logically, increasing glutathione is going to be a good place to start. I have to caution you though, this is the cause of a newer trend of people taking glutathione supplements as part of a detox. But the problem is, just pumping yourself full of, of a run-of-the-mill glutathione will never work. There are too many checkpoints that, inhi that inhibit the, the glutathione from actually reaching the cell. Most of them never make it past the gut. So we showed Kat how to give her body the tools it needed to raise glutathione levels within the cell naturally 
and showed her how to enable the cells to reuse more of the glutathione she already had made. Now, here's where it gets tricky, because when you raise intercellular glutathione successfully, you have a new problem, because now the path is clear for toxins to leave the cells, and they all end up in the liver. So before starting the cellular jumpstart, we had to make sure that cat's liver was fully functional. Now that the detox pathway is clear, the next thing we have to do is we have to address the cell membrane. You can think of the cell membrane as the communication hub, where when your brain wants to tell your cells something, it sends out these messages called hormones. And the hormones communicate to the cell through tiny receptors on the cell membrane, like a male slot. Now the problem is, if the cell membrane is inflamed from high glucose or insulin or some other toxins, the messages can't get through. The cell becomes almost deaf, and we call that blunt receptors. So what we're seeing now is doctors in this sick care field, they're prescribing more and more hormones, including thyroid hormones, to try and get the message through to the cell. And that thought process is, it's, it's like me thinking that if I just scream louder at a deaf person, they'll eventually hear me. It, it just, it doesn't make sense. And we can dump a bunch of thyroid hormones into your bloodstream to make the lab test look normal, but that's never going to eliminate the root cause uh, of the problem. And it's certainly not going to eliminate the symptoms if it doesn't make its way into the cell. In fact, bombarding inflamed cells with T3 or other hormones only further blunt the receptors and, and make the problem worse. So it's a lot easier to, pre to prevent cellular inflammation than it is to reverse it. There are three main reasons for, for the membrane to become inflamed. One is raising glucose and insulin. The second one is bad fats like vegetable oils. And the third, of course, is toxins. These are all, in theory, easy to avoid. The trouble is, is when there's already damage to the cell membranes that, that need to be reversed. For Kat, we showed her how to maintain a perfect ratio of omega-3s and omega-6s. We found that the most effective way to repair the cell membrane is to maintain this perfect ratio of 4 to 1 in the omega-3s to omega-6s. Here's another thing to look out for. Most people are omega-6 dominant, so omega-3s have become another popular trend in the supplement industry. The problem is, without maintaining the right ratio of 4 to 1 in the omega-3s to omega-6s, people are taking too much omega-3s to compensate, and then you actually start messing up the cell's membrane again. And that ratio of 4 to 1 is absolutely vital. Now that the detox pathway is clear and the cell membrane is repaired, it's time to make sure that the cells have enough switchboard operators to, to turn the right signals on and off. That process is called methylation. Normally, when we think of stress, it's, it's emotional stress, like, man, I'm really stressed out. But our bodies undergo other stress that triggers the same systems in our anatomy. For instance, if you, if you come in contact with a toxic substance, it puts stress on your body, which, which is a good thing because it gives your body the strength to fight off the toxins. Regardless of whether it's a, it's a chemical stress, emotional stress, or even a physical stress, your body deals with every different kind of stress the same way. Your brain triggers a process that switches on and off the release of hormones like adrenaline and cortisol to equip the systems in your body to deal with the stress. Something I really enjoyed doing was skydiving. You want to talk about an adrenaline rush. That was intense. So what happened when I jumped out of the plane was that my body sensed a threat, mainly that I was falling to my death. So these methyl groups were called into action to turn on the release of adrenaline. And when I landed safely on the ground, the same methyl groups are called into action to turn off the adrenaline. But if your body is under an excessive amount of stress, these methyl groups are depleted and there, there's not enough of the switchboard operators to turn off the hormone flow. So now you have this signal going to your organs, telling your adrenals to release these hormones, and telling your heart to beat faster even after the threat is gone. Maybe you've, maybe you've heard the term adrenal fatigue before. This methyl depletion is the cause of that. 
An adrenaline rush can save your life if you're getting chased by a bear in the wilderness, but it will completely rob you of your life if, you're, if your adrenals are constantly flowing, even if you're out trying to enjoy a dinner with your spouse. Remember, your body deals with every kind of stress by calling on these methyl groups or these switchboard operators to turn on and off hormone flows. It, it could be that you're under a lot of emotional stress, but it could also be an invisible chemical attack that's going on or any other kind of stress. So with Kat, we had to make sure that she had enough of these switchboard operators to turn on and more importantly, turn off these hormone flows properly. The way we did this was with a special formulated supplement that provides the, the proper methyl donors. You can think of this kind of like sending more temporary workers to help your body's switchboard operators catch up on the, on the high demand. So as you can see, there's, there's quite a bit to it, but it all boils down to having a well-timed plan. We introduced Kat to the three foundational health principles and we gave her body the tools that it needed to start healing from the cellular level. We gave her cells the, the jump start that they needed and it started to show in a big way. After just two weeks, we received this message from Kat. She said, wow, she said, I'm down 10 pounds and that's not the best part. I just finished the best two weeks in years. I had a normal one week of, of calm PMS. I never took one single ibuprofen. I didn't start my period with a splitting headache or a single bout of nausea. And she said, I have no pain this morning. I would never have been able to spend the day yesterday the way that I did with the three kids, let alone at the fair. Normally, she said, she said, normally my head is it's just banging at the top of the at the top so bad that I think that I'm gonna blow a blood vessel. And it's all that I can do to just lay and pray that God would take it away. I'm shocked and surprised at the changes, and I'm so very excited and so overwhelmed to tears. For Kat, a jump start meant being able to serve at her job effectively, and it gave her the, the half of her month back that she had been losing to PMS for so many years. What would a jump start mean to you? I've been working really hard on these video series, trying to make sure that I've covered all the bases and answered all the top questions. Right now, I want to cover some of the top questions that have come up since we released this series. Should I still take my Synthroid or Levothyroxine? The answer is emphatically yes. Every cell in your body needs that hormone. If you've, if you've been prescribed a, a thyroid replacement, you, you need to continue taking it. There are some cases that after careful review and under close observation, uh, a patient can, can come off the, the medication, but um, after, only after they've gone through the Jumpstart program and they follow the three foundational health principles. Is all this compatible with Synthroid or other thyroid replacement drugs? Absolutely. Giving your cells a jump start and adhering to the three foundational health principles is a, is a way to ensure that your body is converting the T4 into T3 in the gut and liver and that your cells are able to respond to the three, T3 when it finally reaches them. What if I'm menopausal or pre or postmenopausal? If you're at any stage of menopause, uh, this program will be even more beneficial for you. Menopause can, can throw off hormone balances, so the jump start during this, this phase of your life could make all the difference. What if I don't have the energy to do this program? Energy is a side effect of, of the jump start, and it starts almost immediately. We hear from patients all the time about how much energy they have during the jump start, and it doesn't just end there. For years and years, living under the, the guidance of the, the three foundational health principles, it delivers a constant flow of energy. Can I lose weight? Losing weight is probably the, the biggest challenge that we hear about from, from patients suffering from a thyroid condition. The great news is, is even though jump-starting your cells and, and living by the three foundational health principles is, is not a weight loss program, weight loss is a side effect. But you know, it's, it's even bigger than that. This is about transforming your life. These past 17 years in practice, helping people to understand how to live healthier lives has been quite a journey. Watching women reignite their passion for living and truly getting more out of life is, is honestly a huge blessing to me. I've worked with so many different people, from, from teenagers to grandparents to, to business professionals to stay-at-home moms, 
and they've used what I've taught them to take control of their health and, and to raise the quality of their lives to a whole new level that they never thought was possible. They've discovered a, a life where they can eat delicious food without the fear of gaining weight, a life that, that allows them to enjoy the little things, to build deep relationships with their loved ones, free from anxiety and depression, and a life completely free from, from chronic pain and misery. A life with a clear head and no brain fog, a life worth living. A good friend of mine has, has the expression that goes something like this. It's not so much about adding years to your life as it is about adding life to your years. And I love that expression because it embodies so much of what we try to do at 316 Health Solutions. So my next video is all about moving forward on your path and, and taking charge of your, of your health. I'm also going to share with you the top two reasons why people fail at a program and how to avoid it. You'll want to be on the lookout for that video because we're going to be opening up registration for the 316 Jumpstart program. Normally it fills up really fast, so if you're ready to take the, the, your transformation to a whole other level, you don't want to miss out on your opportunity to get in. Right now, if you've enjoyed this series, please scroll down, hit that Facebook like button and the share button, and, and then just leave me a comment. Let me know how this is going to fit into your life. What would a jump start mean to you? I'd love to hear how you're going to use this to make an impact on your life. I'm going to be reading all the comments personally, and I'll be responding to as many of them as I can. So go ahead and scroll down right now and leave me a comment.